I guess the first thing I, w- I would talk about is like the type of quiz. So there's different types of quizzes that are going to have, you know, a higher conversion rate or be, uh, be more likely to lead them towards a product where they're going to buy. So just to, just to name a couple, you know, there's like a personality celebrity type. I think these are really famous by, you know, Buzzfeed and stuff like that. Like Lewis house did one around like what, um, what celebrity entrepreneur are you? And there's like people like Tony Robbins, Oprah, those kinds of people. So that's going to be something really viral. So if you maybe have a ton of traffic and you're just trying to capture a lot of those leads, a style like that might be good. Uh, there's an IQ one. So an example, I'm going to list a couple examples. People can check out on leadquizzes.com. We have case studies, but, uh, for the IQ one, um, you know, there's one that we did with uh, a guy where, um, you know, how much do you know about GMO? So we had a documentary that they created around like GMOs. And so it's like an IQ, you know, maybe you're, maybe really smart, maybe you're not. And it, and it identifies that education gap. Another one could be like, which product is best for you? So it could be, you know, an example, e-commerce, like what computer is best for you? And so maybe you care more about you're a heavy core or a hardcore gamer, or maybe you care about, you know, you want to edit a lot of videos and so you need a specific type of computer for that. Or maybe you're just like an internet browser and you need just a very basic computer. So, um, that could be like, that could be good at like saying like, you know, this is the product that you want. Another one is like, what's the, what's your number one problem or strength? Um, so, you know, it could be like, what's, uh, what's the number one thing holding you back from like your, your health and fitness goals. And then that could be like mindset, exercise, nutrition, different stuff like that. A quiz like that would be great for segmentation where you can really figure out, you know, if it's nutrition, then you follow up with uh, a sales letter or sales video tailored towards that and an email campaign tailored towards that. Um, and then the fifth one, like one of the other highly ones we use is a, a diagnostic one. So um, it could be something like, you know, how effective is your ab workout quiz? There's a case study on our site about that. Um, and then, you know, it could be, you know, it's not very effective or it's highly effective, whatever. And then that leads them to it. Do those kind of make sense, Liam? Yeah, they, they definitely do. And um, I was thinking about even for this, for marketing automation, maybe it's a question uh, that comes up quite frequently. At least uh, I've heard it from, from my audience. Uh, what, what software is, is right for me, right? Like, is it, you know, A, B, C, D, all the way down to maybe Z, right? There's so many different options there and so many different things to take into account. And if you can go through a quiz, um, that can give you real value right because uh rather than doing all this research and identifying well which ones fit me this this quiz or if you created a quiz for it could actually provide you um well people with a solution and maybe that's an idea that um we can we can employ as well yeah yeah and so like i guess like as you as you like kind of pick the type of quiz that you want to do you know something like uh, a diagnostic quiz is probably going to be really good for you know someone that's trying to sell a product right after versus like a personality quiz or celebrity quiz, maybe not the best. So an example could be like, you know, the Buzzfeed style ones. It could be uh, if you're in like the horse space, like what kind of horse should you get or what kind of horse are you most like versus like we did a, a case study on our site around like how well are you taking care of your horse? And this was for a company where they sell like hoof boots, which is a little safer and more um, it's better for horses and like horseshoes. And so it's an educational thing where they learn about what's the difference. Like, are they taking uh, care of their horse? And if they're not, Here's something you can do better. So, um, yeah, just to give you some ideas on like, uh, you know, a personality quiz, probably, probably get more shares and get, get more, uh, more leads. But you also want to think about like, what's the end goal? Are you trying to sell them something? Or are you trying to just build your list or what is it? Um, so yeah, those are the types as far as like some tips, uh, for like length, uh, something we found is like keeping it short enough where, People aren't going to get distracted. You know, if they're, if you're advertising this on Facebook or something, they don't want to take 20 minutes to get through a quiz. Um, so usually like eight to 10 questions, is a good place to start. Um, you know, if you are going to advertise this, uh, something really important, uh, is, uh, making sure you're compliant and you're like keeping in touch. So like Facebook's a big platform that we advertise on. So just knowing what are the terms of services, what, what are things you can say and what you can't say so you don't get banned or, um, that's important. Another thing is like, uh, how to make uh, how to make your quiz like compelling like so being able to write some like uh, compelling uh, copy that people are going to want to take um so you know uh, uh let me give you an example um you know like how effective is your ab workout so that's like that one's okay and it but it gives you some ideas of like oh maybe i do have a problem with uh you know my workout routine and it creates some curiosity so like uh I usually think about what's the end goal that I'm trying to like uh, send people to. And then like, what's something that we could write like a compelling idea. And then you fill everything else in between. Um, and then finally just having like easy to answer questions. Like we found when we first started doing this, 
um, people would create all these like complex questions. Like I remember one was, uh, someone did a stress quiz and they had a question in there. Like what, what, what do you do in this scenario when your mother-in-law does this or that? And we found out that people were like dropping out because, you know, probably not everyone has a mother-in-law or they have to think too long around, you know, how do I, how does this apply to me or do I have to look up these facts? So just a quiz that people can get through like very quickly and you can get good, good information from them so you can give them good feedback on, on the results.